Hi, I'm Richard and this is the CBeebies Bedtime Hour. Keep watching as I'll be here to tell you a bedtime story shortly about a little boy who wants to stay under his bed. See you soon. Hello, my name's Richard and I'm here to tell you tonight's bedtime story. Now, I really like dinosaurs and dragons. I quite like witches and furry colourful monsters. Well, they just make me laugh. But in tonight's story, there's something that's making a little boy hide under the bed. I wonder what it is. The story's called, I'm Not Going Out There. I'm under the bed, hardly poking out my head. It's a squeeze and it hurts my knees, but I don't care. Can you guess? Do you know why I whisper soft and low? I'm not going out there. There's a dragon breathing smoke who looks far too fierce to stroke and his eyes have got a scary sort of stare. I hope he doesn't stay, but he is not what makes me say I'm not going out there. There's a ghost who's got no head with some toast and chocolate spread, which I'm sure he would be very pleased to share. And though I'd like a bite, I'm still keeping out of sight. I'm not going out there. There are witches, old and stubbly, round a bath, all hot and bubbly, busy washing all their dirty underwear, hanging knickers out to dry. But they're not the reason why I'm not going out there. There are monsters of all sizes doing ballet exercises, wearing tutus and pink ribbons in their hair. And though they look quite charming, there's something else alarming. I'm not going out there. Then there's suddenly a shrieking and a squealing and a squeaking loud enough to give the boldest beast a scare. Now I'm shaking and I'm quaking. There's the noise of something breaking. I'm not going out there. The dragon turns quite pale from his nostrils to his tail, feels a trembling in his tum. No, I really want my mum. Mustn't panic, gasps the ghost. Keep your head, don't lose your toast. I can haunt some other day. Now I need to get away. The witches spill their washing and go splishing, splashing, sploshing, soaked and soapy, slipping, sliding, searching for a place to hide in. Hide from what? They'll soon find out. They can hear it scream and shout, and it doesn't sound like fun. Better hurry. Better run! The monsters don't feel brave, but now they know how to behave, so they dance off in a row, each one on his tippy toe. Then all that I can hear, very loud and very near, is the thing that made them flee. Do you know what it can be? It's got teeth that can gnash. It's got eyes that can flash. I can hear it grumping, jumping, Hear it stamping, stomping, thumping. It's got hands that can snatch and it's got nails that can scratch and it's ready for a fight. So we're squeezed and squashed up tight. There it is, my sister Kate. And she's in a frightful state, making shrieking sounds and leaping in the air. By now, she must know who put the spider in her shoe. I'm not going out there. And that story was called, I'm not going out there. Or well, I'm not surprised he didn't want to go out there. But I think he and the cuddly monsters had a good time under the bed. And now, it's time for you to go to bed. Good night. See you soon. <laughs>